Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to all my vegans, veganettes, and not so vegans across the globe. It's your girl, Abeja Theatra, and welcome back to another episode of Cause It's Vegan! I gotta eat it. Guess what, you guys? A few months ago, I found a website called Social Nature that allows you to apply to try many different types of foods and items for free or at a discounted price. But of course, I'm looking at the free stuff, right? <laughs> so today we'll actually be trying something that I got a free voucher for. Social Nature, just to give you guys a little background, is a really cool website. All you do is sign up to make an account and they will show you plenty of items, whether they're vegan, vegetarian, or just regular everyday household items, foods, plants, and you can apply to try certain things for free. And again, like I said, some things actually have a price. But when you place your application, you'll be on hold for a little bit and then they'll let you know if you've been approved. Now certain items, once you apply, they ask for your information right away, like your email, your home address and everything so that they can send the voucher to you because you've already been approved. So today I got approved for something for free and I'm very excited about it. Now the catch is with everything that you try, you have to do a review within two weeks of receiving your voucher so if you don't do that then of course that will get you closer and closer to being eliminated from being able to try certain products because you didn't review them so this week they actually sent me a voucher for Chloe's oat milk salted caramel pops I have to try this out and give a review and then that will be it however on top of the free voucher they sent me they also sent me a save three dollars on any two Chloe's pop coupon if I I like Chloe's Pops, then I will utilize this. But I did go ahead and buy two other flavors of Chloe's just so we could do a little taste test on what flavors are the best. So aside from having their salted caramel pops, I also have their dark chocolate pops and then their strawberry pops. Now the thing I wanna say about these two specifically is that they both have only 60 calories. Of course they're plant-based, non-dairy, and there are no stabilizers in their their stuff. They want to make sure that you know this. It's just the fruit, then add water and cane sugar. Or it's just the chocolate, then add water and then cane sugar. Now with this one, it's a little different. It does have 110 calories. This is also a newer flavor. It's just plant-based, non-dairy and gluten-free. Also, it is kosher. Go figure. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with the salted caramel pops, then I will move to their chocolate and then their strawberry. Also, if you're wondering why I didn't use this coupon to buy the other two, it's because you can only use one coupon at a time. So, all right, there are four pops in here. All right, now I'm not gonna be able to eat three full pops. So I'm gonna keep the packaging as intact as possible. This is what the salted caramel pop looks like. It looks very nice. It actually looks kind of like French vanilla-y. Let's see what it tastes like. Ooh, hmm. Definitely tastes like salted caramel. Mm. This is good. This tastes like it could be like a Frappuccino pop. <laughs> this is really, really good, you guys. The consistency, the texture of this is so smooth. It does taste like a nice frozen treat. I love it. Um, they're not saying it's ice cream, but it def definitely has a creamy taste, but I mean, it's oat milk, so. This is so good. I gotta stop eating it. I got it safely back in the packaging. Okay, so that was really, really good. I was actually kind of shocked. I Well, I didn't really know what to expect, but I definitely tasted the salted caramel and it was just so creamy and rich. And I definitely feel like if I just took a bunch of those pops and put them in a blender and like, blended them up. I feel like it would make such a good frappuccino, like no lie. That was really, really delicious. So now that we're done with the salted caramel, we are going to go to their dark chocolate pops. All right, so this one, of course, is just dark chocolate puree, which is bananas, cocoa, uh, natural cocoa, and cane sugar and water. So, okay, the first thing I'm gonna say 
is that taking this out of the packaging, what I don't like is seeing this frostbite here. Like seeing this, well, actually it's probably not frostbite because the first ingredient is water, so it's just the frozen water. Don't really like that, but okay, let's try it. Um, this is gonna be a no for me. <laughs> I was really hoping this would be so good because the other thing was so great. And this kind of let my expectations down. It tastes like, it tastes like frozen chocolate-fied water. That literally is all I taste. Well, I, I can taste the hint of banana. I don't like this. I mean, the texture of it is chocolate frozen water and it tastes just like that. So this is a bit disappointing. I thought maybe it would be a little more fudgy or even if not, just better better than this. This is this is not a pleasant experience. It's not disgusting. I can definitely use it. Um, maybe what I'll try is if I mix one of these with one of the salted caramels and make a frappuccino, maybe that will work out. Hmm? Then I'll have a salted caramel chocolate frappuccino, but we'll see, cause this ain't it, but oh, okay. The one thing I will say that I am happy about though is at least it's chocolatey, you know. Now we're to the strawberry pop. I hope that this is better than the experience I just had with the chocolate, cause if not, I'm gonna be really, really sad. Looks decent enough. Still has that frozen water on it, but this piece doesn't look so bad. Smells very strawberry-y. Okay, I'm a little more excited for this one. Let's see. Mmm. Whoa. How did they get the chocolate so wrong? <laughs> oh my God. This is so good. Mm. With it being, it, it says it's strawberry puree, that is exactly what it tastes like. Very well blended strawberries. And apparently there's lemon juice in here too. Mm. I can taste it. Oh, this is so good. Oh, snap. <laughs> okay, I'm so happy because I thought this was going to be nasty. So in the future, the other flavor they have that I wanted to try is mango. I bet that is so good then. If this fruit one tastes as good, I imagine their other fruit one tastes great. I think I'm gonna finish this one. I'll be back. All right, you guys, so I have tried all three flavors, the salted caramel pop, dark chocolate pop, and strawberry pop. So I actually had to stop the video footage for a while to really think about which one I wanted to put in first place because it was a little difficult. So I'm gonna start from last place because I'm still thinking about it. Last place is definitely going to be the dark chocolate pop. When it came to that one, it really tasted like water that someone poured some chocolate in it and a little banana. and and then put it in the freezer and that's it. And I did not like the consistency of it as well because again, it, it felt like water with chocolate in it. So that definitely has to go in last place. I think I will go ahead and put the strawberry in second place, but I have to be honest with you, it was really hard to choose between the salted caramel and the strawberry pop. When it came to the strawberry, I thought the texture of it was absolutely perfect, which again, like I said, the packaging said that it was a strawberry puree with a hint of lemon juice in it. And the texture of it was very smooth and it felt like someone made a strawberry smoothie and then decided to put it in that form to really freeze it. And I love strawberry smoothies. Um, and then when it comes to the salted caramel pop, it was just such a wow factor for me because it really tasted like a fro like a frappuccino, but just in bar form. And I really, really loved that. And with the texture of it being made out of oat milk, I do feel like I could make a frappuccino if I wanted to. Yes, I guess I'll go ahead and put the sea salt caramel in first place. I was really happy with the salted caramel and the strawberry and very disappointed with the chocolate, which sucks because chocolate is my favorite flavor. 
However, what I'm going to try to do to see if it works, to see if there's some kind of redemption, is try to mix the salted caramel with the chocolate and make a little drink or something like that. See how that works out. That's pretty much it. I definitely recommend you guys go try some Chloe's. I actually found these at Publix. That was the only place I can find them. And even on my coupon, it just says available at Publix. So if you guys can find them anywhere else, you can put that in the comments for other people. And again, if you are looking to try stuff for free, Go ahead, go to socialnature.com, make you an account and just start applying for stuff. And when they ask you for a review, it does not have to be a video like I just did. You are more than welcome to just leave a typed out review on socialnature.com. But I just decided to do a video cause I already have a channel. So I will leave that link in my description. Anyways, you guys have an excellent day. Make it a great day on purpose and remember to love peaches and all the sneeches.